So the next uh, Prime Minister that we are going to talk about is Sri Moraji Desai. Doctors, before uh, I uh, set up the questions here, mm -hmm. I just want to share some things with our viewers. Uh, viewers, in 1962, uh, Moraji Desai was the Deputy Prime Minister under Jawaharlal Nehru. He was also the Finance Minister. And he was not deputy prime minister. He was I, just. A, I'm sorry. I, I take that. Back. A, he was. He was the finance minister. He was. Oh, he was considered number two. I thought. He was not finance minister. He was commerce minister. Oh, I see. I see. I, I'm sorry. I get not corrected. Mm. But uh, he was not number two. No. Uh, but he was expelled from uh, the. That was much later. Sixty-two. Yeah. I thought he was. Expelled. No, no. Sixty-nine. Oh, 69. Okay. Uh, all right. So let, let's. There was a split in the party. Expelled. Well, that's syndicate right. indicate thing. Yeah, that's right. And no, no. I thought under. Uh, no, no. There was a Kamaraj plan. In oh, which all senior leaders, like, I see, I like see, uh, the, um, uh, the people who are advisors to Modi, had brought this rule of 75. Oh, right, right. Put, uh, the non existent rule of 75. Yeah, non existent <laughs> rule of 75. Uh, there it was more explicit. It was a Kamaraj plan, it was called. Oh, I see, 19, I see. 1963. Okay, okay. But it was after the uh, Chinese attack. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, so, uh, uh, Dr. Swami, uh, would you like to share some experiences with uh, Moraji Desai? See, Moraji Desai knew him two installments. Uh -huh. uh, I knew, I barely knew him when he was uh, in nineteen in the sixties. Mm. Uh, and uh, the first formal occasion when I met him mm. was uh, when he went on a fast unto death. Mm. Uh, no, I met him. Yes, uh, I met him in uh, nineteen seventy four. Mm. And uh, 1974, yes, I, I, he had issued a statement condemning the IIT termination of my illegal termination. Oh, of my I see. I see. 73. 70. Mm -hmm. Now, Moraji, my father was in the Commerce Ministry when he was Commerce Minister. Oh, I see. So he knew I was his son. Mm. And he also knew uh, my father in law, who was ICS, mm. who didn't work under him, but being a fellow Gujarati, oh. uh, my father-in-law and he, they, 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 they knew each other. Mm. Now, uh, so in 1974, he decided to go on a fast on death saying that Indira Gandhi is not holding Gujarat Assembly elections mm. and I, I, she must hold it. Mm. And then he began searching for anti-Soviet uh, people. Mm. He and Jay Prakash Nain had got together at that time. Mm. So, out of the Jansang, he picked me to uh, to uh, be part of that group. I see. So the first meeting was to condemn the Indo-Soviet treaty. Mm, mm. Uh, so which uh, for which uh, uh, you know I had written very extensively, mm. uh, much to the rage of Mr. Vajpayee, who favoured it, who supported it, I see. and even forced the Jansang to vote for it. Why? Why would? Why did he want to do well, that? It's a long story. I'm not going. Oh, to okay. That. Okay. We we'll, are we'll <laughs> changing topics here. Uh, but as far as Moraji is concerned, uh, he he had this kind of a distant liking for me. I mean, he was never very pleasant mm. people, a person, person for him, most people. Mm. But he was. You know, well, uh, very courteous with me, mm. maybe because of family background, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, I saw him uh, for the uh, first time uh, after the emergency was sort of suspended and uh, elections were declared. Mm. Now, he had come out, I was still in America at that time, mm. I had not come back. Mm. And uh, they were, you know, we had just come out of jail and they were. Uh, interviewed him mm. and they said, Mrs. Gandhi said all the opposition leaders who have evaded arrests have run away from the country. He said nobody has run away from the country. Mm. So uh, somebody said, but Dr. Swami has gone and organized the whole thing in America. Mm. So he said, Dr. Swami is not a senior leader of the party. I see. Mm. So naturally they played it up uh -huh. and by then I arrived in India. Mm. And the press asked me that this is what he says. Mm. I said, he's absolutely right. I'm not 80 years old. How can I be a senior <laughs> leader? <laughs> and I was flashed. Swami makes fun of <clears throat> Muraji's age and so on because it was a factor mm. in the election. Mm, mm, How can an 80 year old man be the right. prime minister? Right, right, right. So he called me. Uh, so I went to see him mm. in Bombay. Uh, and he, he said, young man, I am an admirer of yours. But why you have to call attention to my age? Mm. 
I said, why did you have to call attention to my being, uh, not being a senior leader? Mm. So he said, but that's a fact. You're a young man. You are, <laughs> you are 80, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah. Then I said, to him. So he said, you're in your mid-30s, how can you be a senior leader? So I said, I, uh, you are 80 years, that's also a fact. <laughs> then he put his hand out. Mm. He said, you and I are friends. Mm. Let it not happen again. Don't draw attention to my age. Mm. I said, you don't draw attention to my not being a senior leader. <laughs> <laughs> so you became friends. <coughs> he wanted to make me finance minister. Mm. But Mr. Vajpayee was dead against me being made anything. I see. Mm. Mm. I, 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 you know, main reason was that during the emergency, Vajpayee wanted me to surrender. Oh, I because see. he said, Mrs. Gandhi has taken so much offense at what you have done, mm. that she will not remove the emergency. Mm. If you surrender, mm. she will uh, remove the emergency. That's what he said. <laughs> I was ready to do it, mm. because my family was suffering very of course. extensively. Yeah. Yeah, but RSS uh, said, you are our hope. Mm. You can't do that. Mm. I said, but well, what about this letter that he has sent to me under, uh, through the underground channels? Mm. Um, they said, you give it to us and tore it up. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, he was angry and he wanted to demonstrate without me, mm. without him, I cannot make any progress in Janta Party. Mm. I was equally determined to prove. Mm. So, that's how I bypassed him. Moraji was never for Vajpayee because he said, our Vajpayee drinks mm. alcohol. Mm. A little prejudice against people who drank alcohol. Mm. So, um, Moraji started grooming me wherever I went. He took me along. Mm. You know, he addressed a meeting in, in his hometown, he put me on the stage. Wow. Uh, you wow. know, uh, with him. <coughs> so, word got around that he, he is grooming me, mm. which made a lot of other people jealous of again. Course, of course, uh, of course. He was a man, uh, actually, very good man. Mm. Uh, he was a bit strict. Mm. And that's in those days, that kind of generation. Mm was like that. Even, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with their family members, they would not show their emotions. Correct, correct. Right, uh, right, 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 right. So, but all through, I had very good relations with Moraji. Mm -hmm. And I stayed with him till the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, In fact, he saved your life. Uh, yeah, by a coincidence, mm -hmm. <coughs> by an act of God, he saved my life because I was fighting, uh, exposing uh, Jailalita, who engaged in tremendous violence. Mm -hmm. I mean, this whole culture of Tamil Nadu politics, you can see today also. Yes, yes. I mean, such crass, crude tweets that you get. Right, right. And Mrs. I mean, Mrs. Jailalita also herself used to, her, her, I mean, I was shocked once that uh, the, the uh, women's wing of the ADMK mm. came to d demonstrate against me when I was going to court mm. to file a case against uh, mm. uh, uh, Mrs. Jailalita. Mm. And these women uh, blocked my coming mm. and then they lifted to their sodies. Oh my God. And it's all over the newspapers. Mm. You know, of course, Karnanidhi enjoyed it being the kind of mentality he had. <laughs> 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 I mean, but I felt ashamed. Mm. So, uh, you know, in that uh, uh, period, uh, Moraji was very supportive. Mm. Um, and. Uh, there was an, uh, what happened is, <coughs> uh, I was going from Madras to Chennai to Pondicherry mm. and I had to pass through Tindivanam mm. and then make a left turn and go to Pondicherry. Correct, correct. It's about 120, 130 kilometers or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so, now, uh, some, about two kilometers before Tindivanam, Suddenly, somebody comes on a motorcycle and he says, stop, stop, stop. Mm. So, uh, I stopped the car mm. and put down the glass and said, what's the problem? Mm. So, uh, the, uh, he said, I've just heard on the radio that Moraji Desai has died. Mm. So, uh, I mean, I was with my party people. Chandralekha was our party president. She was with, uh, also in the car. And I told her that, you know, we have to go back mm. because I can't mm. go ahead. She said, but there's a huge crowd waiting for you in, uh, mm. in Pondicherry mm. and if you don't come, mm. you'll all be disappointed. Why don't you finish the meeting and go? Mm. He said, no. 
mm. because there will be no way he is going to be cremated uh, early mm. next morning. Mm. So I have to go by this evening somehow. Mm. Mm. Even that I'm uh, doubtful whether I get because those days we didn't have so many flights. Correct, in correct, correct. Air India was on. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, Indian <laughs> Airlines. Indian Carrier Airlines. Then. It was called Indian uh, Airlines. Yeah, Indian Airlines. That's right. Right, right. So I said we go back. So we turned around the car, went back. When I reached Chennai, I get this call from um, uh, the governor, mm. Chennai, and he said, "Where are you?" I said, "I'm in Chennai." He said, "Are you okay?" I said, "Of course, I'm okay." He said, "No, no, you are to be murdered in Tindivanam." Oh my God! So I he said, knew about it before. No, no. I asked him, "How do you know?" He said, "I was uh, to go to Pondicherry mm. because he was concurrently governor of Pondicherry, mm. and his car was stopped in uh, Tindivanam." I see. And uh, because it had all kinds of escorts and all sorts, so they they had been for warned that was by coming by some other car. I see. I mean uh, the make of the car. Right. And this was you know a big uh, a big fancy. I think it was probably a Rolls Royce if I'm not <laughs> sure. But anyway, uh, they they were they checked who it was. Then they found, mm. and then the police told the governor, please don't proceed, go back, mm. uh, but by another route. Not just turn around and go, but mm. by another route, because these people are here; they are up to no good, and they want to burn Swami alive mm. in his car. That was the fear. But he couldn't. Those days we didn't have cell phones, mm. so that's there's why no they way. Ah, he couldn't warn me. Mm. So that's the thing. That's a, so. Had Moraji not died, you would have had known that motorcyclists come and inform me. <laughs> I am 100% sure that there would have been a barbecue. Of me on that day. Oh my God! Uh. Oh my God! We are thankful to Moraji Desai ji <laughs> yeah, for just this right. one. Uh, I would say thanks to Parmaja. <laughs> of course, of <laughs> because course, because he is the one who blessed me <laughs> to fight her. <laughs> you see, uh, so uh, that was his last act. So I went back, and luckily mm. there was no flight available by the time I reached Delhi mm. to go to Ahmedabad. There was no flight from uh, Chennai, Chennai to uh, 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 Ahmedabad those days. I had to go to Delhi and go, mm. and there was no flight. Mm. But I got suddenly a call from Narsimha Rao. Mm. Uh, he, 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 this is now 96 beginning, mm. still Prime Minister, mm. and he said, uh, I, 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 "Are you in Delhi?" I said, "Yes." He said, "Come along with me. We are going to Maharaj's Mar- Mar- yeah cremation." Uh, I said, "Thank God." Mm. He said, well, "I've been trying you the whole day. Where have you been?" I said, "I was in <laughs> Pondicherry. Mm. On my way to Pondicherry, I got the message. Came back. So in that special plane, I went there. Wow! And the first thing I said to Moraji Desai's body is, "Thank you very much. <laughs> Even while dying, you have helped me." 